friends this is a routine unedited fecal emulsification procedure let us see the surgical steps by this time the main incision has been placed and this is viscoelastic substance HPMC now one side put is made on the right side of the main incision and another one is made on the left side of the main incision and now is the time to do capsulorexis I incise the capsule with the 26 case bent needle raise a flap hold this flap with a uterata forceps go anticlockwise I try to remain at equal distance from the margin of the people and thus I get a fairly round capsular axis. This is a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now hydrodissection is done. Fluid wave is passed underneath the anterior capsular rim after expressing out some viscoelastic substance. Here it is. You could see that the fluid wave went from one side to the other side. Now the nucleus is depressed little bit and it is rotated. And now is the time to enter into the eye with the FECO handpiece. Let us see how the nucleus is being managed. I have gone inside with bevel down and I'm trying to hold the nucleus and lift it off because I thought it is a soft cataract and it may not be possible to chop it but this cataract could have been chopped anyway I have lifted off the nucleus and I am working on it and emulsifying it and removing it. I call this hold and tilt technique. Hold the nucleus with high vacuum, tilt it and then emulsify. So it is hold and tilt technique. And that's it. The nucleus is managed. And some amount of epinucleus and cortical lens matter is there little bit of visco is injected and now I use a 23 gauge Simco cannula to remove the cortical matter here it is some cells are sticking to the posterior capsule yes it has come off That's it. Now I go through the side port, right side port, and remove this cortical matter. That's it. The little bit of fibrosis is there on the posterior capsule that cannot be polished out. Here it is. Now, under irrigation, I implant in this case a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular, intraocular lens here it is this is irrigation keeps the antechamber formed and the lens is injected into the antechamber the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is depressed by the irrigating probe and it also goes into the capsular bag that's it the case is done I go behind the eye well and irrigate that area that's it and now I inject a bit of moxifloxacin hydrate the side ports so that these wounds are made waterproof and then this is the final wash I wash out everything
whatever I use wash out and form the entry chamber like this and conclude the case hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills